What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about homeschooling and you might be wondering why. You may or may not be aware of the fact that I was indeed homeschooled. Yes, the rumors are true. Uh, actually, I never went to public school. I, I was homeschooled pre-K to 12th grade. I graduated and now I go to college. So I guess you could say I'm pretty qualified when it comes to talking about homeschooling. Now, I can't speak for everyone's experience, obviously. That, that'd be ridiculous, but I can speak for mine. So you might be wondering, why am I bringing this up? You're in college, Antonio. Shouldn't you be talking about college stuff? Well, sure. Over, over my lifetime, I've experienced a lot of things with homeschoolers. I've interacted with, with homeschool families, talked to parents about their decisions as to why they decided to homeschool. I said all that to say that today I want to talk about an article uh, that Harvard Magazine actually put out, which was published, I believe, back in March. And the article was titled, The Risks of Homeschooling. Now, you may have heard about this article, uh, not because of the content, but because of the, the image that was on the front of this article. It was essentially a picture of a child trapped in a house made of books. But in the original, I guess, release of this article, one of the books was spelled uh, incorrectly. It was a word arithmetic, it was spelled with an A, not an E. And so this was very ironic because it was taking a stab at homeschoolers and they actually misspelled a book on the image, which is insane to me. Like this is Harvard Magazine. You don't get more prestigious than that. Yet, um, I guess they really weren't checking on their, their uh, image art there. Either way, today, I wanna talk about the content. The article is written by Aaron O'Donnell, but mainly draws from Elizabeth Bartholet, who is a Wasserstein public interest professor of law and faculty director of the law school child advocacy. But I, I just wanna talk about her arguments, break it down to the bite sized pieces, talk about what I disagree with, talk about what I agree with, and leave you with a conclusion based on that. Essentially, her argument can be broken down into two ideas, and these two ideas are very, very separate. She brings them into one idea, but they're really two. And that's one, homeschooling limits the success of children. And number two, homeschooling conceals widespread child abuse. So let's dive into that first claim, which is that homeschooling limits the success of children. So here's, here's I broke down, this is her thesis statement essentially, quote, homeschooling violates children's rights to a meaningful education and may keep them from contributing positively to a democratic society. And then really under that main head claim, she has several subpoints. And if you don't know what a subpoint is, that's okay. We're gonna be using subpoints a lot on this channel, subpoints uh, and sub subpoints and sub sub subpoints. So first subpoint is that parents should be educated. Uh, she argues, secondly, the second subpoint is that some of these families have dangerous ideology. Then she argues that it's dangerous to give parents 100% control of their children. And finally, she ends this part by saying that the, really the burden of justification for homeschooling should be on the parents, not necessarily the other way around. So let's just dive right into it. It's a pretty general statement as a whole, that thesis statement saying that it's not a meaningful education. Uh, it's pretty offensive, I would think, to most homeschoolers. I mean, just to put it in perspective, I guess you could say someone gets their PhD at a lesser known school and some say, oh, oh, well, it's not a meaningful education if you didn't go to Yale. You know, it's offensive. Like, it's something that you did a lot of work in. Nevertheless, let's look past that. Let's look at her argument. That first point. So parents should be educated. She claims that effectively people can homeschool who've never gone to school themselves, who don't read or write themselves. That's her claim. That in an ideal situation, yeah, in an ideal situation, both parents could have a PhD and could be teaching their children with that experience. In not so ideal situations, that doesn't necessarily happen, and and I really think that's okay because she misses the point here. Uh, there are a plethora of online curriculum that easily rival, and in some cases, in, in many cases, surpasses the quality that public school children uh, receive. And uh, as someone who used some of these programs, uh, not, not not to say that they're, they're all great, uh, some of them are kind of frustrating, and I really don't like them. But there there are they are available. A lot of people don't realize there are plenty of online curriculum available. So let's talk about the ideology point, the point that uh, people are given uh, dangerous ideologies when they're homeschooled. And it's a simple response here. And my response is, uh, no, you. And, and it's, a, it's meaning that there are going to be teachers with dangerous ideologies no matter where you go. Public school, private school, charter school, homeschool. You're going to have people who have dangerous ideologies. That's simply the world that we live in. That's not a unique point against homeschooling. Also, it's, it's fairly common knowledge that no matter where you go, you're going to find bias in uh, textbooks, bias in teachers. That's natural, that's human, that's what happens. <clears throat> that's what happens in the education system. So I wanna take a pause here and, and talk about a study that uh, the New York Times did. Or they, they, they posted this article about this study uh, describing how state governments in both liberal and conservative states push their ideologies into the textbooks. So a California panel 
asked the publisher McGraw-Hill to avoid using the word massacre when describing 19th century Native American attacks on white people. And on the contrast, a Texas panel asked Pearson to point out the number of clergy who signed the Declaration of Independence and to state the nation's founders were inspired by the Protestant Great Awakening. And there are several other examples in this article that really just talk about what it's kind of a common assumption now that there's bias in textbooks no matter where you go. So my point is this. My point is this, bringing it all back together, is that uh, while homeschoolers aren't uh, free from bias and free from ideological indoctrination, uh, they're, they're not this is not a point unique against homeschoolers at all. In fact, it's a point that maybe should be addressed as a whole in any education system, public, private, uh, or homeschool. So the next point, and this is kind of it's humorous to me uh, a little bit, Bartholet has a quote that really sums up this next point. And she says, the issue is, do we think that parents should have 24-7 uh, influence on a children's views and ideas? Essentially, authoritarian control over their children from ages 0 to 18. I think that's dangerous. You know, that, it sounds funny. I, I get where she's coming from. She doesn't want certain parents to have complete control over their children, but it's just a, it's just a, it's a weird concept. Like, you know, oh my gosh, can you imagine the person that raised and birthed and served and paid for their child having 24 seven, you know, authority over their child. That's so weird. I know some people out there that might seem foreign and insane to me, that seems reasonable. Uh, considering they are doing so much for their children. So her last point, the justification point, basically saying that parents should have to justify to governments why they want to homeschool their kids. Should homeschoolers have to justify to local governments? That's the question. Should they? Maybe, I think. Uh, I, I don't think homeschoolers should be afraid to justify to governments why they want to homeschool their kids. That, that's my big point here. I know a lot of people, you know, can sometimes be afraid of having to justify to a government. And to be fair, you know, we, we should be sometimes afraid of governments overreaching their boundaries, especially in the education system. But the thing is, uh, I don't think homeschoolers should be afraid to justify that their kids are receiving a quality education. At the same time, if there are any stipulations for homeschoolers that are unreachable, of course, those should not be in existence. They should not be passed. But I think a balance should be reached. As homeschool families, I don't think the, the burden to justify why you're doing this, why you're educating your kids is, is a bad idea necessarily. Of course, the, the real evil in this situation that we haven't talked about is child abuse. And that's what we're going to talk about in this next section. And that's this, her second biggest point, which is homeschooling conceals widespread child abuse. Uh, so, so obviously, a system that can allow for something as horrific as child abuse is a broken system. I think anyone would agree to that. Bartholet really doesn't offer any other reasonings in this uh, argument except for examples and speculation. But I think it is her strongest point. As a person who works in this environment, I'm sure she has to deal with speculation all the time with child abuse cases. That's simply part of her job. So I, I do see where she's coming from. Just want to take a point here to think that title restrictions should be considered. I mean, should someone with a child abuse charge be allowed to homeschool? Should someone who is a violent offender be allowed to homeschool? Now, I'm sure some people would say, you know, of course, we want to have a second chance on these people and we want to keep the rights at stake. I, I, I get that. But at the same time, you're talking about something as tender and as precious as homeschooling, I don't think that someone who has multiple offenses or even one offense should really have the right to do that. That's my personal opinion on that point. I think that's a privilege they've already forfeited. So if there's a way for families to assure governments that there's nothing unethical happening in their homeschool community behind the scenes, that at the same time is not too intrusive, I'd be all for that. But while we're on this subject, I don't want to sweep over something. Let, 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 let's not ignore the fact that public schooling isn't necessarily the safest alternative as a whole. Let's not forget about the widespread bullying and harassment that happens every day in a public school, on most public schools. Let's not talk about the children who, because of cyberbullying and in-person bullying, ended up committing suicide. So my, my point is this, that the public school system isn't free from violence or even harassment or even abuse. And like I said, I'm not trying to point fingers because I think there's a lot of great public school systems out there. I have a lot of friends that love the public school system. I have friends who are teachers at a public school system. I'm not trying to make them look bad at all. I'm just saying we got to look at both sides here. In homeschool circles, unfortunately, there has been child abuse cases that happen because of loose restrictions. But at the same time, public school systems also have their own set of issues. This doesn't mean we should ban homeschooling, is my point. That's actually the reason why a lot of families choose homeschooling in the first place. They want to avoid uh, certain issues there in the public school system. For example, access to drugs, access to alcohol, access to all these kinds of things, even bullying. That's a reason why people I know chose to homeschool their kids because in a homeschool environment, you can avoid, you, the, the, the chance of avoiding that is much higher than if you were in a public school system in general. We're talking in general here, of course. Bringing that all back together, 
where does that leave us? The homeschool community uh, is often criticized for being out of touch with the rest of the world, and, and, and I, I get where that's coming from. But at the same time, uh, Bartholet, Dr. Bartholet here, kind of seems a little bit out of touch with homeschoolers as a whole herself. You know, how many homeschoolers did she talk to? How many families did she interview? How many parents did she reach out to? Probably not that many. Is there a risk with homeschooling? That's the, at the end of the day, the question must be asked, is there a risk with homeschooling? And my answer is, of course, there's a risk with homeschooling. But there's also a risk with public schooling. There's also a risk with private schooling. In fact, there's a risk in any kind of education you receive anywhere in the world. You know, there's going to be a risk that you're not going to receive the education that's best for you. There's going to be a risk that you're going to run into uh, certain issues that you didn't foresee. That's the nature of education. As for me, I had a great experience with homeschooling. I feel like it didn't hold me back at all. It definitely, it definitely prepared me for the path of life that I wanted. In fact, I would say in contrast, it, I, I was given some advantages in homeschooling that public schoolers may not have. I learned time management early on. I learned flexibility and I learned to choose and pick my priorities in my schooling environment. So in some ways I had an advantage. Now, at the same time, my story is not everybody's. I know uh, students, kids, people who grew up in homeschooling who they, they, they struggled. They struggled to learn in that kind of environment. They didn't have access to as many friends as they'd like. And it, it just didn't work for them. They would have rather been in a public school system, but that's okay. Homeschooling is an option. It's a quality option that I think exists right now for parents to choose if they don't want the government-based uh, uh, program that is naturally available to them. And I think that's great. I think having alternatives to, in an education system is, is, is something we should strive for, something we should have more of instead of accepting just the norm. So in conclusion, I think there are a lot of reforms I could get behind that could help make homeschooling safer as well as not being too intrusive. And so I'd be all for for that. But I would say this article, even though it's from Harvard, imagine that is not as accurate. It doesn't really paint homeschooling as an, an accurate picture possible. But what can you expect from an article that doesn't know how to spell? But that's it, guys. I really want to hear from you, though. I want to hear from homeschoolers. What was your experience? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What were the reasonings? What, what did you wish you had? What are you happy that you avoided? The public and private schoolers, I want to ask the same question. What were your thoughts of homeschooling growing up? Did you like the system that your parents chose for you? I really want to hear from you guys. So some of you may have watched this video and been wondering, where's where's the data of the survey? Uh, so yeah, let me just explain that real quick. So I made a survey uh, to home for homeschoolers to talk about their experience a little bit. I really want to know uh, more about the homeschool experience from the students themselves. I, I didn't want to add that in this video because it's already going to be kind of long, but it's going to be in the second part of this, this uh, I guess, video, small video series that I'm making. And if you are a homeschooler out there and you haven't taken the survey, link is in the description. Go check it out. Like I said, love to hear from you guys. And I know uh, the question on many of your mind, Antonio, what about you? When you get married and have kids, are you going to choose homeschooling as your first option? Well, 